By late 2026, Google will block uncertified APKs from installing on most Android devices. That's right, no verification, no install. Whether you're grabbing apps from trusted sources or experimenting with indie builds, the days of easy side loading are numbered. Let's break down what's happening, why it matters, and how you can still stay in control of your device. So here's the deal. Starting in late 2026, Google will require developer verification for side-loaded apps on certified Android devices. That means if an app isn't verified by Google, even if you downloaded it from a trusted source, it won't install. The system will block it. Sounds intense, right? It's a major shift from the open ecosystem Android users have always loved. But wait, there's more to the story. Google isn't just beefing up Play Protect. They're rolling out a new system app called Android Developer Verifier. Its job? To stop shady, malware-ridden APKs from reaching unsuspecting users. On the surface, it's a win for security. But it also tightens Google's control over what you can and can install. Now, here's where things get interesting. Android expert Mishal Rahman uncovered a loophole. The Android Debug Bridge, or ADB. This command line tool lets advanced users push apps from a computer to their phone, no verification needed. So yes, sideloading lives on but it's no longer a one-tap experience. For casual users, typing commands on a PC is a major barrier. This change raises a big question. Is Android still the open platform we know and love? Sure, fewer infections and better security are great. But if sideloading becomes a developer-only feature, Android starts to look a lot more like Apple's walled garden. And that's a tough pill to swallow for longtime fans of Android's flexibility. The good news? We've got time. The policy doesn't kick in until late 2026, which means there's room for feedback, debate, and maybe even some tweaks. But one thing's clear, sideloading won't be as effortless as it used to be. So what do you think? Is this a smart move for security or a step too far in locking down Android? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this breakdown helpful, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss an update.